my friends my friends my friends i'm not gonna say i called it because i've got a video coming out tomorrow that'll toot my horn for <laughs> several minutes but i am excited to introduce you guys to a new ship from a manufacturer that's rarely seen along with the ship we'll also take a quick look at what's coming up with this year's expo which should be live by the time this video is published let's take a look and thank you for coming to my tomato talk How excited are you guys for Vulture Freakout 2.0? The Nomads from Elite Dangerous, oh no! Okay, but really, the, the new ship from Consolidated Outland is very compact and geometric in its shape and design. It builds on the known style of the company featuring larger panels, flat surfaces, and a lot of hard angles. It goes a bit further by starting to introduce some of the technological prowess of the young company with some sexy little ladder animations and hover tech rather than landing gear because the company's all about cutting costs. But really, note the massive flat surfaces here. This is super in character for the company and should be expected moving forward. Remember what their other ships look like and this design starts to look a bit like a given. So what is this ship about? Well, it's an advanced starter, so it's small and mostly useless for making good money, but not entirely. With this ship, you'll get 24 SCU of storage, which means you can do enough cargo running to make enough to rent a small multi-crew ship within a day or two. But you aren't going to want to rely on it for very long, and you might not want to leave it parked unattended with the cargo being stored on the exterior of the ship. The most important thing to me about this ship is how it's going to steal market share from the Avenger class ship. While many people believe we have enough small and starter ships, I am a strong strong believer that most of the diversity in spaceships needs to be more towards the smaller side of ships because those are the ships that are most populous in the verse. Those are what most players will be flying and those are what most NPC instances will be using as well. We want to see as many different small ships flying around as we can, but we also want to see as much choice for as many players as possible. Because, like it or not, most players that play this game won't be getting to the level at which they'll be buying a Carrick or a Polaris, and a lot of those who do won't be able to afford keeping them flying, so they'll stick to the smaller ships. This ship, in my opinion, is a good addition as a small, efficient cargo hauler that opens up the beginner's playing field even more, and I'm formally calling for more of this diversity anywhere between the 100i and the Mercury Star Runner. More medium to small ships with unique designs. More medium to small ships with unique designs. More small ships are good. I'm waiting to learn more about the ship in the coming days and will have my first impressions and review of it to you guys as soon as I can. But overall, the design is something I'm open to. The style is something I'm excited about because I like to see companies have more fleshed out brands and design languages. And the use case makes sense to me, having a small, dedicated cargo ship is we need we, like we that's a thing we need that but enough of that i said i'd have some videos for you guys on this ship we'll get to those later let's talk about the expo next up we got to look at how cig put work into improving the largest in-game event in the game it's annual it's big and it's very important it's the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo, or IAX for short, in my opinion. I have a video detailing what this whole thing is about, and I have another one detailing how you can get into the game for free and check this expo out for yourself in game while renting a bunch of ships. It's up there in the corner or down in the video description. But for now, we're going to talk about how they've expanded this expo and what they've done this year to make it come to life. Not gonna lie, it looks beautiful. It actually reminds me a lot of the LA car show, even down to the little seating areas in the side hallways. They've done a really good job here. Apparently, they put different artists on it every year to mix things up. And having it in a different location most definitely helps as well. I'm sure next year it'll probably be an Orison on Crusader, but what happens after that? Magnus? Terra? Pyro? 
It looks like the theming is very on point this year with the different ship manufacturer styles, which is nice. And I sneak the building from the 600i commercial has also been airdropped in. The details, the materials, the minimal design, it all feels very well put together and cohesive. I think I would like to see more people walking around a bit, but then they'd just be busy standing on chairs, right? If you'd like to see this event fully, make sure to hop into the Discord server. We're going to be going there as a group, my gaming community and me, and we're going to be checking out different ships, renting ships, running missions, just hanging out and chatting. So make sure to join us in the next couple of days to weeks, and we'll have some fun together. Now with a big event like this literally here, they probably didn't have much to talk about besides just promoting the event and talking about the new ship. This happened last year as well, so I wouldn't expect too much juicy info to come out in the next couple of weeks, but you can always keep an eye out for some new ship information that I will for sure be covering here on the channel, and you could probably catch in different avenues throughout the next 10-15 to 15 days. Besides hopping over into my Discord to play the game with us and join in on some of the community giveaways I host there, also remember I'm giving away a Mercury Star Runner on my Twitch channel, so if you want that big, glorious multi-crew ship, make sure to hop on over there, go ahead and ask the mods how you can get into the giveaway, and start earning some points to buy some tickets so that you can get that ship on November 2nd when I give it away. Thanks to everybody again for checking out my channel, and I'll catch you guys next time.